During a muscle contraction, the energy ATP demand is based on the energy requirement for the various components of the contraction, cross-bridge kinetics, calcium handling and membrane repolarization. ATP demand is directly related to the number of cross-bridge interactions, be it force, generation, isometric contractions or work performance, force generation with changes in muscle length. Thus, the metabolic response is dictated by the overall energetic demands of force production and work. A muscle contraction is inherently non-oxidative and aerobic. Energy for a single contraction is supplied by cellular ATP stores and creatine phosphate CRP. Recovery from a single contraction is aerobic. Oxygen uptake VO2 increases in proportion to the ATP and CRP used during the contraction. Single maximum voluntary somatic contractions 1 RM 1 repetition maximum contractions or single submaximal contractions represent a relatively low energy demand that is dependent on the intensity of the contraction and the particular exercise being performed, amount of muscle mass incorporated in the exercise. The contraction is fueled by ATP present at the initiation of contraction and by CRP. There is some breakdown of glycogen and glucose utilization as ATP production from glycolysis is known to begin from the onset of contraction and is likely involved in the meeting single contraction energy demand. Muscle lactate has been shown to accumulate without appearance in the blood unless the contraction lasts longer than approximately 5 seconds. Post-contraction VO2 is theoretically proportional to the ATP and CRP used during the contraction. That's all for this video, hope you all enjoyed the content, please comment down below, also share, like and come back whenever you want, it will be a pleasure to have you back.